It is a pleasure and honor to have with us Neil Winstanley, a South African football icon. He's played for Bafana Bafani at the 2004 African Nations Cup. We've also seen him at Wits, Kaiser Chiefs, Mamelodi Sundowns, and he last played for Premier Soccer League club Bidvest Wits. He's now a UEFA C-level coach and co-owns the Fitness Center Point Break in Cape Town. We're so excited to have you with us here, Neil. Welcome to the show. Thanks very much for having me. Oh, amazing, amazing. So as an ex-pro footballer, how has life after football treated you? Well, it's actually been fantastic, to be honest. Um, yeah. I retired from football in, I think, the 2010, 2011 season. Mm -hmm. um, and it was it was 20 years of, of just uh, playing football and being committed to, to what I did. So yeah. I kind of I lost out in, in a lot of other aspects of, of my life, which I'm, I'm fulfilling at the moment. So okay. I'm really loving it. Okay, that's great. So I've seen your commentary before about life after football for South African players and how there just isn't enough support. As an insider, what's holding back players from not being able to continue working and earning in the industry after they retire? Yeah, I think it's a, it's a major issue in, in South African football where um, we get paid all these huge amounts of money and um, Unfortunately, we don't invest it in, in the right things, as in, as in maybe starting your business or, or investing in property. Um, so, unfortunately, uh, I know for a fact that when I was playing, I wasn't I wasn't given the right guidance to mm. to how I should invest my, my money after football. And yeah. um, luckily, luckily, I had people around me, and um, I had good parents and and good agents uh, that actually guided me, and um, yeah. uh, I saved a bit of my, my money while I was playing football. That is great, guys. I really hope that people can take from that example. So how were you able to then start coaching in UEFA C-level? Yeah, um, I think when I left football, I just I'd had enough of it. I'd had 20 years of uh, constantly playing and um, uh, I, I was actually I was actually wanting to do it from, from the time I was actually playing, but never got around mm -hmm. to doing it. I think when I retired, uh, it was the next, the next best thing to do. Uh, and then I kind of went into the fitness industry and um, mm -hmm. I, I, I miss football and I think that's my calling. So yeah. um, I've started my, my, all my coaching badges and I'm, I'm, I'm busy, busy going to do my UEFA coaching B license. Nice. And then obviously there's A and the, and the, and the pro license and, and hopefully I can get back into, into, into football. Oh, that's great. Okay, cool. So it's good to know that you still are in football, but I know you're doing so many other things. So I just want us to quickly have a chat about how you got to invest in Point Break and your relationship with Ryan Botha. Yeah, look, uh, I think we kind of all retired at the same time. Yeah. Uh, my brother was playing and he, I have a twin brother, uh, I'm not so sure many people know that, and he yes. moved to Switzerland. Yes. And he started his business there and he, he's doing really well for himself. And uh, after retiring, I was kind of in between. I didn't know if I want to go back into football, if I still want to carry on playing. And I just came yeah. down to, to, to Cape Town on holiday. And um, Cape Town was, was probably one of the last places I actually saw myself uh, uh, staying. Yeah. Uh, but we opened up we opened up Point Break and um, that was in 2012. And we've just, we've, we've kept on, we've kept it going since since then. And it's, it's been very successful. That's cool. So what kind of training do you guys offer at Point Break? Because I see it's a little bit different. It looks quite intense. But it looks fun. Yeah, it's not your conventional gym. Uh, yeah. I think we're more family orientated and friends, and and so we're not a we're not a virgin active. Uh, we're yeah. more of a functional gym uh, mm -hmm. where we offer uh, boxing and we, we offer like a little bit where we push sleds around. And we have battle ropes, and so we make it more fun. Um, yeah. We, we want to create an environment where people can come and have fun and enjoy themselves and and get healthy and fit while doing it. Awesome, awesome. So I have to ask you, I have to ask you about your ink. How many tattoos do you have? And are they like, do they all have meaning or is it just artistic expression? Yeah, uh, I do have a lot of tattoos and it's an ongoing process. Uh, mm -hmm. So yeah, my whole, my whole right arm is dedicated to, to my mom who passed away in 2008. And um, I'm busy doing the whole of my left arm now. I have my whole back tattooed, I have mm -hmm. chest tattoos. And um, yeah, my new my new other half, uh, she's a model and she's she's also yeah. a tattoo model. So the the influence is not great on that side as well. So she's always I was actually me. I was actually <laughs> gonna get there because I'm like, you guys are both pretty tattooed. I must say, you also are couple goals. Oh my word, 
I love the fitness <laughs> videos. I love her tats. But how has lockdown been for the two of you? Well, funny enough, uh, uh, we we actually we actually kind of said that lockdown's coming to an end. <laughs> we kind of <laughs> said, uh, wow, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we, we, we've had a lot of fun, I must be honest. Yeah. Uh, uh, Kelly's, Kelly's taught me how to cook and how to bake, and oh, it's something that I've always been interested in. So uh -huh. uh, she's taught me to draw, and we've looked up um, uh, getting new tattoos, and yeah. she's actually she's actually busy busy designing my left arm for me, or help busy designing my left oh, arm for me. Word. So I'm not gonna lie, um, I know I know uh, the COVID has destroyed our economy financially, but yeah, I must be yeah. honest, we've had a lot of fun. No, of course. I think it's just also just, you know, looking at the silver lining and be like, hey, we've been able to take something like this and learn new things and probably even get closer because I am absolutely loving those videos. So what do you have planned for your birthday? Aren't you glad that you'll be missing the lockdown birthday wave? You can actually go out and celebrate properly. Yeah, thankfully the president, uh, I think he just maybe did it for, for, for me. Um, yeah. But uh, I, I'm, I'm leaving all of that to, to Kelly. Apparently she's got all these major things planned for me. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm really looking forward to it. Cute. Guys, his birthday his birthday's coming out this month. Okay, so you better go on ahead right, you, and wish him happy right. birthday. But you sorry. We won't tell anybody that I'm, we won't tell anybody that I'm 44. So let's just go with I'm 34. <laughs> okay, yeah. No, you're 34. Even look, yeah, you look 34. Have you seen how ripped and how fit he is? And I've been watching you guys do all these videos with like these athletic things. I saw Kelly was once on your back once, and I was like, yeah. damn. I don't know what your secret is. No, actually, you have to give us any tips for getting rid of those like lockdown kilos because you guys seem to have like smashed all the fitness goals. Yeah, a lot of a lot of people uh, say that her, her and I are exactly the same person. Obviously, she's a woman, but a version yeah. of me. But yeah. um, we, she's absolutely amazing, and uh, she's taught me a whole, whole different lifestyle and how to be calm and 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 how to live my life and and be happy. So, um, yeah, I thank God for her every day. That is so beautiful. I really hope she's listening. If not, we'll make sure we get you a recording of this video. All right. So I really just have enjoyed having a chat with you. You've been such a fun sport. But I'm going to quickly just, you know, fire a quiz at you just so that we can get to know you in like, like one minute. Is that cool? <laughs> Absolutely. Let's go ahead. All right, cool. So what do you prefer, juice or cold drink? Cold drink. Cold drink. Oh, wow. I never expected that one. Would you rather do <laughs> burpees or sprints? Sprints. Cool. What's your favorite cheat meal? Uh, anything to do with hamburgers. Uh, but uh, my other half has, has taught me I need to start eating healthily. So uh, yeah. anything to do with uh, with the way she cooks. So maybe maybe like uh, a nice healthy salad with uh, some fish and some nice cheese toppings or something like that. I just asked you what your cheat meal was and he replied with something healthy. Wow, guys, that's how dedicated it is. That's how you're going to stay 34 forever, you see. So do you <laughs> prefer... <laughs> Do you prefer being indoors or outdoors? Outdoors, definitely. I stay okay. in Cape Town, so you have to, you have, you you have have to enjoy that. Oh, I mean, I wish I was in Cape Town. I'd also just constantly live outside. Are you a dog person <laughs> or a cat person? Definitely a dog person. Cute. SUV, Bucky, or sports car? Which do you prefer? Uh, it has to be an SUV. Nice. Gin or whiskey? Ah. Uh, Actually, I have I wasn't not, not much of a drinker. Uh, Is it? Okay, so you were okay during this lock, uh, during, no alcohol ban. During, lock, during lockdown, I kind of kind of learned how to, to drink gin and whiskey. Uh, but if I had to choose between the two, definitely whiskey. Okay, cool. And what's the most push-ups you've done back to back? Oh, I have no idea. I've done two thousand push-ups in, in one of my workout uh, videos. So it's probably it would probably be the the two thousand push-ups that I did. Two thousand. 2000 my like yeah, my body my upper body's just hurting just thinking about that damn and then are you an adrenaline junkie you just don't play like that i feel like i know which one it is <laughs> yeah no i definitely am i love riding motorbikes and i've been yeah. bungee jumping and i've skydived and uh yeah um anything to do with fast cars or fast bikes uh, mm -hmm. just give me a shot and i'll be there that is great. Look here, Neil. Looks like you're having such an amazing time. Oh my word, you've had an amazing career in football and you continue to go in ahead with that. But it's so cool to see just all the amazing things you're, you still are able to achieve even after that. Thank you so much for being such an amazing guest. Thank that is all the time we have for today. Hopefully you can join us next time again. 
Thanks very much. Looking forward to it. Awesome. Please say hi to Kelly for us and your twin brother as well. <laughs> I'll definitely do that. Thanks for having me on. Great show. Okay, cool. Thank you, guys. That is all the time I have with Neil, man. He was such a fun sport. I love doing our super interviews with our super guests right here at Super TV. But do stay right there. I'll be back just after this.